Hey, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, all glorification, honor, and praise to only in Yahweh, Basim Yahweh, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Okay, that's his true and proper name. Okay, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ, is the name of the only begotten Son. All right, that's, those are the proper names of the Heavenly Father. And the only begotten son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Alright. And the Rakakwadash Salakia literally translates the Spirit Holy is the Holy Spirit, which as the brother likes to say is the driving force behind the lessons that we do. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salakia, along with the bishops and elders who rule and teach the church well, salutations. Peace and blessings to the Bishad of the House of David, the elect. And oh boy. All right, more uh, stupidity and heresy coming out of the IUIC, Israel United in Catholicism, Israel United in confusion, whatever you want to call them. Talking about uh, we're not supposed to hate Esau, the so called white man. All right, beginning with his elites. All right. Um, which, you know, clearly, I mean, clearly contradicts what the Bible teaches. All right. Now, when we talk about hating Esau, all right, are we saying that we're going out and putting our hands on these Edomites and beating the hell out of them and you know, shooting them and strangling them. No, absolutely not. Nobody's nobody's saying that. Saying that we should do that. All right. Or that we're going to do that. Not now. Okay. But. Clearly. All right. The Lord. All right. Yahweh and his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai. All right. Clearly they hate Esau. And. We are to hate Esau. <laughs> I mean, it's almost it's almost crazy to even do this video, and to even um, you know to even um, to do a lesson like this. But you know, for the benefit of the lambs, especially the new believers, the new disciples coming in, the new learners, we're gonna do it, man, because it's scriptural. All right, one one of the uh, the biggest and, and most obvious examples, all right, is uh, what King David says. Like it's like, yeah, I'm in transit. I'm about to uh, pull up uh, to the spot. But one of the um, most obvious and, and clearest examples of this of a man of the Lord hating, like Esau, hating the wicked, because Esau is the wicked, all right, is... Uh, Found in Psalms, the 139th chapter, with King David, man, Malak Dawada, who will sit on his throne and rule on this earth. Okay, being the head of the house of David, obviously. And he talked about uh, hating those who hate the Lord. And did, did you see a prophet come alongside him and rebuke him for that? No. Huh. You didn't. You wouldn't. All right, he said, um, and I'm I'm gonna read it, you know, as soon as I get stopped. But um, you know, to roughly paraphrase it right now, while I'm driving, you know, he said, "Do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate Thee?" Right, because uh, you know Esau hates the heavenly Father. Man. Now you got some Edomites out here talking about they love God, but they. They love an image of God. They've they've uh, been um, been taught, which is a false image. All right? They love the so-called white man. They think the so-called white man, you know, Jesus Christ. They think he's he's God. So that's who that's who they love. All right. But uh, you know, when they see um, Yahweh Shai coming on that chariot and they realize that he's a so-called a so-called black man 
then they're gonna what? They're gonna weep and gnash their teeth, man. They they gon' they gonna be like, oh shit, we done fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So these Edomites, these so-called white people out here, just a regular, plain Jane, Joe six-pack Edomites. They they love a you know a false god, you know who's white, so so-called white, because there is no black and white. We go over that time and time again. There is no black and white elder uh, Malcolm uh, out in Chicago. All right, brings that out a lot. You know how the the black and white thing was created in 1681 in Virginia. There's nobody on the planet Earth who's the color black. You got very dark, dark, dark brown people, and you have, um, and there's nobody white. Okay. You got varying shades of pink and red. But, um... Yeah, man. This is fucking crazy, man. The IUSC, they just... They on some weird shit right now. But, you know, this that's, this is, uh... Them wicked men waxing worse and worse. Like the scripture says. It's like, yeah. Um... I had to get my sword real quick slot. So let's go to Psalm 139, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven, you know, Esau and the heathen, they're going to be beaten with that rod of iron. All right, but right now, again, you can say you hate someone and it not lead to, to you know, laying hands on someone, you know. It's not going to. Now, we ain't going to be part of this race war. So like yeah, which that race war is coming, man. It's another. I haven't really read in depth about this second assassination attempt on DJT, but um, when you know they clearly, you know, uh, um, getting the people stirred up, you know, for this civil war 2.0 that's coming, and that's coming, man. It's like yeah, but yeah. Um. Anyways, enough enough of that. Let's just get to the scriptures. All right, the book of Psalms 139. Uh, IUIC has officially derailed, man. <laughs> they way out in left field on this shit. <laughs> Damn. All right, um. All right, this is Psalm 139. I'm going to start in verse, uh. 20, for they speak against thee wickedly, right? Esau speaks against the Most High wickedly, okay? Because, again, you know, these Edomites hate the God of the Bible, all right? It says, uh, for they speak wickedly, or it's like you say, they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, Yahweh, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? See? Verse 23, I hate them with perfect hatred. And if you're calling yourself a man of the Lord, all right, and King David was a man after the Lord's own heart, right, or mine, then this is your sentiment, man. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Okay? Now, now check this out. At the end of this chapter, all right, King David not wanting to go off, right? So, so well, well, let me just read it, all right? It says, uh, verse uh, 23, right? Psalms 139, verse 23. Search me, O Yahweh, power, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. So, you know, King David wasn't going off, man, and is not going off, and you're not going off if you say you hate Esau. Okay, we're supposed to hate the things that the Lord hates and that includes the Lord hates people. The Lord has a certain he, he doesn't. It, and again, in the book of Psalms, it says that he hates the workers of iniquity. That's uh, Psalms chapter five and verse five. The workers of iniquity. All right, you trying to tell me you love the Rothschilds? You love the uh, uh, <laughs> the Rock the Rockefellers and the Warburgs and the Gettys? All right, the, the the men who finance the transatlantic slave trade, the men who. Who, who will oppress you to this day, Jake? You try and tell me that you, that you love them? You know? 
in the uh, Elder Apostle uh, uh, um, Tahar and of course the, uh, the Elder up in Baltimore, uh, Karate Zaba, Holy Bible Defenders have gone in on this, you know. This is this is insane, man. You know, I mentioned Psalms chapter five and verse five. Um, Proverbs six. Alright, the book of Proverbs, the sixth chapter. <laughs> man, oh man. Proverbs chapter six and verse um. 16, okay? Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things do with the Lord Yahweh hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue. So he hates things, okay? A proud look, a lying tongue. And hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. Who has shed innocent blood all throughout this earth the last 500 years since the Renaissance? Which means rebirth. Esau. Who has shed the blood of the saints or the Israelites? Esau. Okay, why? Because Esau hates Yahweh. He hates Yahweh's sign. He hates the children of Israel, who are you so called blacks, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Alright, to include the speckled bird, brothers and sisters, Israelite foreigners. Verse 18 And a heart and heart that divides up wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies. That's Esau. And he that soweth discord among the brethren. Okay? So, yeah, you know, the Lord even hates two-thirds of his own people right now. Okay? So you're trying to tell me we're not supposed to hate Esau. Here it is. The, the Most High and His only begotten Son hates Esau, but we're supposed to what? Love him? Fucking crazy, man. Um... Ecclesiasticus uh, or Sirach, right? Chapter uh, 12. And uh, verse 6 For the Most High hateth sinners, right? And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. See? But the Most High hates sinners. We're supposed to hate what the Most High hates. We're supposed to hate the things that the Most High hates and the people that the Most High hates. And again, does that mean we're, we're advocating that you go beat the hell out of Esau? All right? Or that you go lay your hands on a wicked two-third? Absolutely not. We're not going to do... Again, we're not going to be a part of... When this fucking society collapses and we're right on the doorstep of that happening... And when all hell breaks loose, when shit hits the fan, however you want to say it, we're going to be on the sidelines, man. Okay? Watching. Watching. Not partaking in this bullshit. Okay? But in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to, you're going to see, all right, that the Lord is going to have that perfect hatred, okay, in your, in your heart or your mind for Esau, especially, and, and the heathen. Okay? I mean, do you beat someone with a rod, rod of iron that you love? All right, did you put someone in hardcore, hardcore slavery? Do you put someone that you love into hardcore slavery? Salakia. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, do you, uh, do you eradicate an entire race of people off the earth if you love them? That's what that's what's gonna happen to Esau. Read the book of Obadiah. Esau is gonna be er eradicated off the face of the earth. Alright. So, you know, yeah, the Lord the, the huh, hold on. The Lord hates things, he hates certain mindsets, and he hates people. Alright, he's getting ready to pay or to repay those who hate him to their faces, man. During a time of Jacob's trouble. Hold on, let me get uh, another precept. I want to go back to the Psalms. All right, back to the book of Psalms. Like in the 11th chapter this time, in the 5th verse, the Lord, Yahweh, trieth the righteous. The righteous is the Israelites. Right now, only uh, 
144,000 and the re remainder of that remnant, okay, is, is accounted as righteous, okay, being clothed with the righteousness that comes from the Lord, all right, because our righteousness is as filthy rags, but anyway, the Lord, Yahweh, triumph the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, all right, who loves violence more than Esau? That's how this whole construct was, uh, what, that's what this whole construct was founded upon, violence, okay, You know, this place was established, established on uh, on blood. All right, the Lord, Yahweh, try after righteous, but the wicked, and him that, that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Right? It's the most high speaking. And again, that's, that's what our uh, uh, mindset is supposed to be. Now, is this a, a, a particularly, like, comfortable lesson to do? Not, not really. All right, but this is part of the scroll, man. This is part of the role. You know, this is this is the Bible. You have you have to, uh, you know, bring it all the way out, man. Okay, you can't you can't trim your ways to seek love, right? Then the scriptures talk about that. Trimming your ways to seek love, you can't trim out the parts, cut out the parts, you know, that don't that don't feel good. Okay, to 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 be loved. That's why. The, why do you think the prophets were hated so much? And despise so much for telling the truth, man. This is the truth of the Bible. You don't hear these scriptures preached in the, in the Christian church. Did you ever hear Jacob have I love, Esau have I hated, read in, in one of your church services? Be honest, man. But that's what the that's what the Bible says. That the Lord loves Jacob and hates Esau. All right, Malachi. Let's go to Malachi. Um, Malachi, the first chapter, right? Because Paul, you know, it's like the Apostle Paul in Romans, the ninth chapter, he's quoting Malachi, okay? Malachi, chapter uh, 1, and verse 2, I, I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet I love Jacob, all right? And I hated Esau, verse 3, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See? We all know these scriptures, man. But yeah, it's just more insanity from the IUIC, man. These are them um, false prophets that Yahweh Shah warned us about. You know, Matthew's the, uh, what is that, 7th chapter? Matthew's the 23rd chapter. You know, we were warned uh, about these grievous wolves that would be on the scene in these last days, especially the Apostle Paul spoke of them, man, because right? he dealt with them as well. All right, they're back 2,000 years later, standing there a lot, wicked as ever, man. Yeah, this is the whole council of Yahweh, and, that, and that's what Great Millstone and, and her affiliates mm -hmm. teach, the whole council of Yahweh, Acts chapter 20 and verse 27, for I'm not shunned to declare unto you the whole council of Yahweh. Right. You got, you, got to, you got to bring it all the way out, man. All of it. All of it. All of it. Can't hold back your sword from drawing blood, man. And, uh, and of course, the sword is, is, is these scriptures, man. Okay, these, these scriptures cut. Okay? Remember, the word is powerful, man. Sharper than any double-edged sword. Verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves, Acts chapter 20, verse 28, and to all the flock over to which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers. seers. It's like you to feed the church of Yahweh, which he hath purchased with his own blood. So this is serious business, man, because Yahweh shop purchased all right, the elect, okay, and ultimately the whole nation of Israel with his, with his own blood. Verse 29, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing, the, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves, verse 30, shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. And that's, that's what it's all about with these guys at the IUIC numbers. Stealing sheep, you know. That means more money. All right. 
right? So yeah, man, the, the Lord hates certain things, certain mindsets, and people. And we are to have the mind. It doesn't say that, that we're supposed to have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're supposed to have the mind of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So anyway, that's all I got on that. Hey, Lord, we don't use that if I don't want to write this up. I don't want to say Shabbat Shalom once again. It's on to the next video.